Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dabuki here once again, and it is time for another Pillow Mints adventure. Today I'm going to be getting to 200, which I'm super excited about. Changed up our look just a little bit here. I put a little scarf around her, making her a bit more comfy, as well as little pink cat ears. I thought it, it matched the scarf. So here it is, Pillow Mints, just trying to look a little bit more refreshing. So 198 right now, two more levels until the big two hundo which oh man i am so excited for that fifth job guys it's gonna be so good i think i only need like one more level 199 and then there's like a cool little trick you can do to get one free level from 199 to 200 i've been grinding away a lot at future Perion, which the uh, the dark swole stumps oh maybe be swole it's a very good spot for marksmen and about I guess 190s I was there from like 180 I think actually to like now so it's, it's a pretty good training map I wanted to go ahead and show you guys also um, oh no 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 no! Okay, come back come back some of my favorite weapons that I just achieved I was doing the Magnus prequest and around those mobs I was getting these level 100 weapons and this is the Nishir I think is the uh, the crossbow version of it but the Nizrock if you guys remember the Nizrock that was my favorite item in Maple Story I just thought that that was such an awesome looking bow but this is like the counterpart or the um the cousin of the Nizrock and these are the Nishir I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly I actually kind of want to see what it looks like on pillow mints I know now that the crossbow is like hidden behind your body it doesn't really matter too much but let me go ahead and just take a look maybe we can like anvil the weapon and just have it there <laughs> it looks like I just have a turkey yeah I think I like the Nizrock better the way it looks I'm surprised actually how small that Nashir is because look at my crossbow right now look how beastly that is you can't even see my body that actually legitimately covers my whole body. All right, I'm sorry. I'm getting too into the crossbows right now and the weapons. Let me go ahead and get back this, uh, this little cover here. I was opening up some of those Black Friday boxes and there were some cute things. This like Dreamland Thief effect is pretty insane. This is like a really comfy look, yeah? Like you're actually just sleeping and dreaming about pillow mints all night long. Let me go and get some training in though, guys. If you guys didn't know, Legion does sell two X cards here. You can only buy 10 though, I, I believe a month. I'm not sure exactly when this resets, but I think it's 10 a month. So yeah, but it's nice. You got, you got some boosts here. So definitely check out the Legion shop if you have not, because I just learned about it recently, which is crazy. I, I didn't know that there was this two X cards, two X drops just chilling in there like that. Okay. So this is the map. Desolated Hills. Very, very popular map, I, I think. Um, it's just really nice. I'm just going to show you this Kana blowing up this map right now because I think she does a better job than me. <laughs> so, I mean, the platforms are pretty straightforward, very flat, and that's what I like. Uh, and, you know, just especially with the crossbow right now, we got to have the flat map. Ooh! Oh, free map with the rune? Oh my gosh, this is money. I'll show you guys the rotation for uh, for crossbow that I've been doing on this map. So what I like to do is I like to pop down my little anchor here on the top where it kind of mobs the, the mobs to the center. And then I'll go ahead and work on this bottom layer. I mean, it takes me a little bit, you know, because we'd be really humble up in here shooting these stumps. Um, but yeah, so it takes me a little bit to get the, the bottom layer cleared. But once I get this bottom layer cleared here, then I'll just come right back up and then I can just juice them all down right here. Because what's really nice is that the anchor just, they get drawn to it, you know, so you just kind of reset it and then you go back down and then kind of just rinse and repeat. I don't know if that's the best way to train here, but that's kind of the rotation that I was doing. Um, while I was mindlessly training and watching shows in Korean dramas. Where, where's my pet? Did I kill my slime again? Oh no. I'm so sorry, little one. I'm so sorry. Today I was at Sam's Club for a really long time, actually. Um, I just got back. If you guys don't know what Sam's Club is, it's like Costco. If you guys don't know what Costco is, then you guys should just turn off the video right now. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Stay. Um, it's just like a big bulk like warehouse store pretty much where you can buy things in bulk and it's it's big. But anyways, I, I was mindlessly wandering around there for like an hour to two hours because I was getting my tires changed. Um, winter is coming and I just wanted to get some all season tires for my, my car because I like to take it up for snowboarding quite a bit. So anyways. Sorry, I'm, I'm going off of on random tangents here. Um, I was walking around the store and just waiting for my car to get serviced and done. And, um, you, you know, just trying to keep myself busy. So I was just doing laps. 
And this lady approaches me, actually an employee approaches me that works at Sam's Club. And she asked me where the baking trays were. She, she just straight up came up to me and she had a cart and she asked me if I knew where the baking trays were. I was so confused. I was taken back. It took me a few seconds to just realize what she asked me because I think she thought I worked there, but she's the one that had the Sam's Club like employee outfit on. So I was just really confused. But I mean, I did know where the baking trays were because I passed them six times while I was making my laps around the store. So I don't know if she was like observing me. Like this guy obviously knows where everything's at in this store because like he's just checking out all the items I'm not really sure but then I directed her and it felt pretty awesome and then like I just kind of wanted to like help people find stuff I was I was like trying to approach people and like ask them hey like are, are you finding everything all right you know um because it just I knew where everything was at that point due to the fact that I was there for way too long and it just reminded me back when I was working in Walgreens, I was like facing the items too while I was walking by. It was really lame, guys. Anyways, I, I don't do well trying to keep busy in the store. If you guys don't know what facing means in retail, um, you have to like push all the items to the front so that it looks nice. You know, when customers come and pick up items and they purchase them, then the items are kind of like pushed back into the like you know they're kind of not showing their their face front and the shelves don't look full so when you face items it looks full so yeah it was i was just kind of working some retail here going back to my roots um that was that was my first job was walgreens and that was really cool just kind of remembering back to where it all started where, where my professional career started was walgreens oh man but walgreens guys was Oh, man, I think I learned the most in Walgreens, to be honest, for just working wise, like customer interaction is so important. Being exposed to that at least once, like dealing with customers and people. Oh, man, you just learn a lot about yourself, about people in general and how like how to just be a person. I'm just super grateful that I had the opportunity to work at Walgreens. I actually uh, my first job was going to be Tokyo Joe's. I applied there and I had the interview and I failed the Tokyo Joe's interview. I don't know how. I, he just asked me, what do I like to do on my free time? I remember I said I like to play guitar, video games, and snowboard. I remember he was eating his lunch too at the time, the manager that was hiring me. And then he's like, well, we'll get in contact. And that was it. That's all he asked me. I know random story about my time in Sam's Club, but it was, uh, it, it was interesting. It made me reflect a lot about just uh, my, my first job at Walgreens. And it was just really strange that an employee came up and asked me to help her find something in her store. <laughs> a customer, I'm a customer, man. Or maybe I did look like an employee there. I don't know, but yeah, tires are great though. Um, tried them out and they're fantastic. So um, I'm really excited for the snowboarding season. Someone asked me if I'm from Colorado because they saw my Loveland sticker. Oh, this one right here in the comments. They saw this Loveland sticker on my water bottle. And yes, I am from Colorado. And that Loveland is one of my favorite ski resorts that I go to. And I just got my season pass there. So I'm really pumped about it. My snowboard is in the shop right now. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. All right, I'm sorry. I've, I've been rambling, guys. I apologize. Uh, let me just go ahead and get this level out. We're almost there though. 78%. Oh, I shouldn't have bought the 30 minute coupon. I just realized. In the Legion shop, you can buy like a 10 minute coupon, 20 minute coupon, and a 30 minute coupon. I bought the 30 minute coupon, which I don't think this is gonna take me 30 minutes. So we're gonna be wasting a lot of the, the 2X here. All right, guys, here we are. Pillow mints. Welcome to level 199. I was going to say 198, 199. Let's get it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys really quick. This is what's up. So if you go into your light bulb, if you do this Haven, a new home, I believe it's a 190 quest. You can do it anytime at level 190. People tend to like to save it to 199 so you can get that one free level. So you go here. And it's just pretty much you zoom through talking with some NPCs here and then you get a level. So we're at 22% already. And now we just kind of go over here and look at the little eyeball. Or no, he's not an eyeball. He's just a pair of legs in the ground. All right. 
32% now? 53%? Oh, never mind. Maybe I uh, missed something here. No, that's it. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we do have to grind out the rest of the percentage. That's a little bit awkward. I thought that um, I was going to level up to 200 there. I guess not. I don't think I've seen Marksman's new fifth job skill yet. The Awakened skill. So that's going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe I should go take advantage of this. This will give me some good XP here. Let's give it a shot. Oh my gosh, it's the chicken dance. Oh, smokes. Oh, I don't like this one. Okay. Clear. Wow. I guess I did need the 30 minute to X Legion coupon after all. <laughs> so that was good. Good thing I bought that one. Um, was anticipating the failed 100% quest anyways. So that's good. Here we are, guys. The big two hundo. Pillow mints. Welcome to the beginning of your journey. Let's go. Level 200. Oh my goodness. Let's get it. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let us go ahead and get ourselves our job advancement. This one does take a little bit of work, though. I mean, before it took even longer. It, it actually took a real, like, full 24 hours because you had to, like, charge a stone or something. But now you can just go ahead and do the three different tasks, which is nice. The Urda Flow. Oh, we're going to meet Cow and all that stuff. Oh, man. I forgot about the Arcane River pre-quest. That's a whole other thing, too. All right, here's the three. Kaiser Permanente, Maple Goddess, Beautiful Succubus. So Hennessy's is our first stop. We got to go here. And inside Athena Pierce's room, she's got the goods. Ooh, we get to go through Hennessy's here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, super pretty. Let me just take a little quick look here. A little look sees at the outfits. Just like these ones that like really stand out. This hair is gorgeous right there. Very beautiful. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Ooh. Hey, my my gentle straws has this hair. That's a really cute little hoodie there too. Googling over the doodling. Let's, let's go ahead and go to the Athena Pierce. I think the secret portal is like right there. There it is. Next one is in Pantheon, I think. If you desire my help, then prove your strength and courage to me, Magnus. Can you best him? This is cool because you can fight Magnus at any level. I have not fought Magnus yet, so this will be nice. This will be the first Magnus boss toss as well, but we're just going to fight easy Magnus because, <laughs> oh man, I, I'd be so surprised the day that Pillowmints can fight actual Magnus because that boss is a beast. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what, what? What? What explanation? You need to hear my explanation first? We can overcome the crisis. That's not an explanation. There used to be a guy in there too. Wait, what the heck? Is there a quest in here that I did not accept? And I don't think I can queue up for easy. Googling. Need to hear explanation first. Magnus Maple story. Um, Seeking easy Magnus simulator. Let's put the general solution. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Okay, okay. All right, hold on a second. It's saying that easy Magnus glitched if you get this like text box no way no 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 no. this is not happening i have to kill normal magnus then <sighs> no 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 i i can't i can't kill normal magnus i mean pillow is pretty awesome and all but no way she can kill normal magnus did it really just glitch for me oh no do i have it wait 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 where is this guy i think we're okay i think we're okay um all right. You can talk to Edia at the Helzium Reclamation HQ if you want to know more. Oh my goodness. Because the dude is usually standing right here. All right. I'm not losing my mind, am I? I thought it was. And then I saw this Reddit thread saying that if that's what happens, then you're glitched and you have to kill normal Magnus. All right. I think we got this, guys. Phew. Crisis averted. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've just been failing all video long, I feel like. All righty. Here we are. Easy Magarino. We got five lives. Oh, we got him. Look at that. Look at the health going down. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is kind of cheap. This is kind of cheap cookies. It doesn't actually kill me with one shot. Oh, we good. Oh, we more than good. Man, I was panicking, guys. I was like, I'm not going to get my fifth job ever. That's it. That's done. I guess I could ask someone to carry me. Magnus was nothing for pillow mints here. Or I should say easy Magnus. Excuse me. Beautiful. Woo, let's go. Now Kaiser Permanente will be all happy that we showed him our courage and that we bested Magnus. Last one is actually a little bit difficult uh, because it's in the Dark World tree and you're timed to find the portal that's like in the tree and the mobs are just insane. 
Of course, Gentle Straws had it a little bit easier due to the fact that he could just dark sight and hide from all the mobs. But this one's going to be uh, a little bit challenging, I think, for Pillow Mints. We'll give it a shot, though. We'll see how it is. So I think it's usually on the top left-ish portal? Top right-ish? Or I mean the, um, the map? Alright, so now we're timed here. So we got to find the portal in one of these maps. There it is. Alright. Well, wait. I remembered it being a lot more difficult than that. Did, okay, well, I'll take it, I guess. I remember dying a lot on my Bowmaster trying to find that portal. Oh, we got it, guys. I think that was it. Here we go. The new power. Press OK to complete your fifth job advancement. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, guys, here we go. V Matrix. So we got four skills. There's, remember, there's one new awakening skill, I believe. So perfect shot. I, if I remember correctly, this is kind of a weird skill. Split shot. Oh, that one is awesome. I love split shot. Surge bowl. Oh, this is that like charging up skill. This is pretty cool too. I like this one also. This is pretty awesome. Repeating crossbow cartridge. This must be the awakening skill here. Let's go have some fun with our new fifth job skills. We'll go back to the desolated hills just to uh, give it a shot, you know, so we can see our progression here with the fifth job. Hopefully we can see a difference. So this is our normal like piercing arrow shot that we've been using to train. So something really cool about split shot now. So if we activate split shot, which we'll go ahead and do now, bug boom. Now look at this. Oh, <laughs> you see how the arrows just ricochet off? And it actually has a pretty large AOE, which is awesome. Um, so it can tag a lot of platforms here. So it's almost like we got more angles to our shots. Look at that. So this lasts for, I think, is it 30 seconds or 60 seconds? Last 60 seconds. This next skill is, this one's called Surge Bolt. This one's pretty awesome. I remember this one. You pretty much have this charge here. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, uh, it just like pierces everything in its way and you can actually hold down if I remember correctly Let me see if it works. You can like hold the charge down and still shoot So it's like charging up right now and then you can just unleash it now this this next skill perfect shot um, This one actually I believe is an iframe so you can go invincible here while you're in this skill <laughs> So you go first person shooter mode with this skill you pop it and you, you're laying down and you just start shooting mobs in the map. You're capping them <laughs> throughout the map. I think you get like four shots, is it? Six shots. You get six shots and it lasts for mm, 12 seconds. So you can have like a 12, actually in total you can have a 14 second invincibility frame. Because I think while you're in it for 12 seconds, you're invincible. And then you have two seconds after the skill ends that you're still invincible there. So that is that is pretty awesome. And you go into like first person shooter mode and you just like click around the map. It really does kind of throw off the flow though when you're training. So um, back when I made a crossbow, I remember I didn't really use that quite a bit when I was training because it was just kind of, it disrupted the flow of things, you know, when you're, <laughs> when you're shooting and then all of a sudden you got to use your mouse to like click things. But it's very good bossing though, for sure. The last skill, the awakening skill that I have not tried out yet and have no idea what it is, repeating crossbow cartridge. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I don't know if you can use it with split shot or not, or if you just use it by itself. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, oh, that's how you use it. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Oh my goodness, can you use it with split shot? Oh, usable cartridges is seven, so I only get seven shots. Use a special cartridge that allows you to fire multiple arrows at once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate both split shot and the repeating crossbow cartridge, see if that works. Okay, so both are on right now. Oh my gosh, yeah, it works. Holy smokes. Whoa, did you see how many arrows it shoots? Oh, that's insane. Oh, that is crazy. Okay, so you only get seven shots with it, but they seem pretty powerful shots though. The AoE mobbing has just increased just tenfolds, guys. I know we just fought CHT in the last video, but I guess this might be a nice test 
to kind of like see CHT now because I was trying to think of a mob that has a lot of or like a boss that has a lot of um things that we can hit and CHT has all those arms and limbs. So I thought we'd go ahead and give it a shot, you know? Oh, look above my head here. All the arrows for the split shot. That's the split shot animation. We're going to try to save the split shot and the cartridge for um when we're in it. Let's go ahead and do the skill really quick. Go into aiming mode. Just snipe the head really quick. <laughs> I love this charging skill too, this surge bolt, because it's such a low cooldown. I feel like Marksman gets like a lot of activable, activatable fifth job skills, which is really awesome. And like really low cooldown too, relatively low cooldown I should say. So if you guys remember the main body over here in CHT, I was struggling a little bit, you know, standing on platforms and stuff like that. Let's see if we can feel the gains, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Pillowmints. Have you truly awakened? Show me your powers. Let's go and pop on split shot, cartridge, and let's go to town now, yeah? <laughs> My goodness. Okay. All right. Okay, that's pretty insane, guys. So, yeah. Oh yeah, she has awoke. She has definitely awoke right there. Look at that. Wow. Night and day difference after fifth job for sure. Oh, and I forgot to even use all my fifth job skills. The surge bolt here. I should have just been flinging that throughout the body as well. Holy smokes, guys. That is so cool. So, so cool. Headshot! 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 And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. CHT just donezoed. Just donezoed. Whew. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. We are fifth job, level 200 pillow mints, crossbow. I am really excited. These skills are superb. Really, really happy with them and can't wait to start grinding on this character a little bit more. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying the series, guys, and just really supporting, again, what I do. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Much love, one love. This has been Daboki. Thank you again for watching. I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.